Welcome everyone. This tutorial is going to show you how to add content in a ProShow web. We're also going to explore all of your basic options. First, let's open a web browser and go to ProShowWeb.com. Once the site loads, you'll need to click on Login and then enter your member name and password. After you've logged in, Click on Create a New Show to go to the main interface of ProShow Web. Notice the tabs here at the top. You can use these to navigate to the different sections of ProShow Web at any time. For this tutorial, we're going to focus on adding content to the show, so click on the Imagery tab. The Imagery tab is where you'll add in images, video files, and text. You'll want to make sure that your imagery tools are open. If they aren't, click this triangle down here. To start adding in your content, simply click on the Add Photos and Videos option. This will open a window which allows you to browse your computer for the files you wish to add. Once you find them, select the ones you like and then hit Open. You can add in files one at a time or all at once. And you'll notice that your images and video files will need to upload to the site first. And the time this takes depends on the internet connection and the size of the files, so you may have to wait a little bit longer for your video files to upload. After they're done uploading, you can then click and drag your content in any order you wish them to be presented. You also have some other options. You can delete a file by selecting it and then hitting remove. You can make a copy by selecting duplicate. You can shuffle the order of everything by hitting shuffle. Or you can rotate your content by 90 degrees by hitting rotate. You also have the same options for your video files. The one main difference is that you have an option to mute your video, so if you wish to remove the audio from that video clip, hit the mute option. Adding text to your show is just as easy. Just click on the add text icon and then click in the box to start typing. You can type up to 255 characters per text slide, and as you type you'll have an indicator down here letting you know how many characters you have left. After you've finished typing in your text, you can then position it just like your images and video. You also have an option to remove or duplicate your text by selecting the options down here. And that's all there is to know about adding content into your show. After you've put everything in the order you like, you can then continue on to the next steps of show creation by hitting the Next and Previous buttons or by using your tabs.